let Yahweh be true. Let Yahweh never let you be a liar. working tirelessly to try to fill in the blanks and to connect the dots, believing that God's going to uh, provide us with who and what it is that we need so that we can uh, minister to the larger community. But this is uh, really a pronounced time for us for uh, prayer and supplication uh, to really reach out to God for his intervention, because if this is where we are at the closure of week one, uh, by the time we get to week four, uh, it's going to be a dizzying reality uh, for all of us. And so I ask that uh, we would all keep uh, not just washing our hands, but that we'll keep our hearts pure and that we don't become contaminated with the stains of bad news that we're being inundated with uh, every day on television and social media, uh, but that you would consecrate yourselves in seasons of prayer and supplication and hearing him that uh, you would really commit yourself uh, to the intermittent uh, fasting journey that the church is on. This week, uh, Roland, I uh, opened up a food pantry in Atlanta uh, for people to just pull in their cars, pop their trunk. We put groceries in it. Uh, and usually we did it for 300 a month. Since the coronavirus, uh, we've been having to do it almost 300 people a day. Wow. Uh, so Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so somebody saw, like you on Instagram, us doing the work. Uh, uh, per one million, we're way behind South Korea and other countries when it comes to testing the citizens. Uh, while you were talking to your President Howard, a uh, flash just came on CNN uh, that we've had over 284 deaths just in one day, uh, catapulting us to being the first uh, in the world in terms of deaths. And the way that this president is not leading, uh, is only going to get more dire uh, as the days go by. So if you can imagine uh, Atlanta are filled and rolling, we haven't even reached the peak. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Racha HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, Shalom Labakwayim, that is to the elect of the nation of Israel, the Israelites scattered throughout the four corners. Okay, I want to touch on this video with, uh, about Pastor Jamal Bryant, okay, which he's literally from here in Baltimore, you know. He had a mega church here, and from what I understand, he got ran out, okay. He, I guess he scammed the people, then he moved his ministry to Atlanta, but he also knows he's an Israelite. There was a, a brother that was formerly with our camp uh, and another brother in our camp, um, you know, where we teach. Uh, some brothers ran into him after camp, and he said, yeah, I know I'm a Jude. I'm from the tribe of Judah, okay? That's what I was told. And these brothers definitely would tell me the truth. There was a few of them, so it's a validated testimony, okay? So anyway, this guy, Pastor Jamal Bryant, wants in on the take. <laughs> you know, he's trying to make money off of the COVID situation, okay? He said, look, I want a part of this too. You know, you elites, you can't have it all. But they always got to remind them, get back in your place, you know? This is uh, this is uh, a government thing. We're, we're the ones going to make money. You are have a 501c3. You supposed to stay in your place where you're supposed to say stay. Now, this guy Roland Martin, who's a so-called black activist, they all in intertwine in the uh, the agenda. By the way, with for black people, black people, okay. Meanwhile, we see what black people are doing, okay. But anyway, he's supposed to be, you know, trying to help the people. Three hundred food banks. Uh, do you open your trunk and we just drop food in there? Okay. But they're not telling you that you have to give a certain amount of money when you go into these uh, churches. And they'll, the excuse they'll use is, well, we need the money so we could fund the people. I just can't do it myself. But who skims off the top? This is why I, follow, I know about 501c3. I know people who had the business, not just in church. The 501c3 is a nonprofit organization. 
So when you donate clothes, when you donate your automobile, when you donate merchandise, it goes to um, a charity. And what the charity does is off the top, they auction it off. That's where you go to your car auctions. A lot of them are charity oriented. When you go to your Salvation Army and you buy your things from there, okay? So I thought all the things were supposed to be just donated to people. And then what they can't sell, they just give to people. It, it's a long story, but these charitable organizations make money off of your donations, okay? And this is how T.D. Jakes, Pastor Jamal Bryant, and various so forth, how they do, okay? Now, before I read the article, I'm going to read a, um, a scripture first. Um, let me read the scripture first, because this is what they're doing. You know, they're you know they're persecuting the poor. They're they're taking the money uh, that hard earned money from people of minorities, so called minorities in these poor neighborhoods. These Israelites, let me say that, keep it correct. And what they're doing is they're using that against them to make more money. They're using that to profit and make more money. Okay, you, they'll use a catastrophe. They'll use what's going on in the ghettos as a scheme to make more money. Meanwhile, you so-called blacks and Latinos, Native Americans, you're being you're digging yourself deeper into the ditch. This is Proverbs 22 and 16. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Okay, so these guys, okay. This guy's uh, oppressing the poor, okay, to increase his riches, okay? And then when you wind up giving all your money and you need help, you know, then what happens is you wind up needing money. You, just, you wind up needing help, and then the churches can't help you. But for women, it's different because the agenda is already set up for women to prosper in the society. So when they give money and they get a whole lot back, they think it's blessings from the most high. But it's not that. Okay? It, you're, you're being used as a tool funneled through the church for these pastors to keep your people asleep. And Margaret Singer had that agenda. Okay? Margaret Singer had that agenda. Okay? Uh, he also goes on to say that um, Roland Martin and him saying that where we need to stop the spread of COVID, we need to stop uh, these people are not uh, able to get ample testing and until it's too late and they're sick and they die. And they're not under, this guy Jamal Bryan is supposed to know the Bible, right? This is why prosperity and truth can go hand in hand, okay? The scripture says he's the one that killed, the most high is the one kill, okay? And make alive. He's the one make bring down and, and, and raise up. He's the one make you sick, okay? Uh, and that's, to the point, he's the one to make you sick. Let's go into the article. I wanted to go into the article real quick. It says here, um, uh, something, Lithonia, Georgia, Metro Atlanta Merge Mega Church, New Birth Ministry Baptist Church, led by Pastor Jamal Bryant, has postponed a two-day COVID drive, uh, drive-through COVID-19 testing center. Okay, the event was originally scheduled for April 4th and 5th, but was recently put on hold due to Governor Brian Kemp's shelter pl uh, place in order. Right? So you can see where he was going at. Hey, get the drives going. Maybe we can help the people. Okay? And, and with the governor saying, no, you you people, you're going to come where we tell you that you're asked to test that. You're not, we're not going to go and uh, see this guy, Pastor Jamal Bryant, he wants off the top. You know, these the pimps and hustlers, they got to know their place. Even though you're a pimp, you have somebody over you. And you better know your place. You know, the pastor better watch it. The, 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 uh, the true gangsters may hit him up. Okay, anyway, he goes on to say, the Bible reminds us that people perish for lack of knowledge. Hmm, I wonder where Pastor Jamal Bryant got that from. Hosea 4 and 6 is what he's quoting. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And a new birth is blessed and joined road docks, okay, and other partners to test a population who may have limited access to vital medical resources, said senior pastor Jamal Bryant. 
Despite the sobering numbers of the growing COVID-19 cases and deaths around the globe, you know, I want to encourage our community to take the necessary actions to be informed, educated, and action-oriented in dealing with this pandemic, he added. So he's speaking just like the regular government. He's not speaking as a man of the Lord, okay? He's not speaking out of a spiritual uh, aspect of it. He's saying, well, you know, the, the testing and this. Look, man, at the end of the day, the Lord is the one that pushed these viruses and these plagues. Isaiah 45 and 7 says, I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace and make evil. I'm just quoting. I, the Lord, do all these things. This is the Lord show. This is the Lord. This is his thing. So he's, you're not supposed to be in cahoots with the government and their plans of what they're trying to do. You're supposed to let the government be dealt with on the left-hand side, let them deal with you know the situation. This proves that Pastor Jamal Bryant is linked with the government on the left hand side, but he overstepped his boundaries. That's why they postponed it. Okay? He overstepped himself. Jeremiah 14 11. Then said the Lord unto me, this is the book of Jeremiah, pray not for this people, for their good. Okay? Goes on to say, when they fast, I will not hear thy cry. And when they offer burnt offerings and an oblation, I will not accept them but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Okay. The Lord said he was going to consume them by that. So this is why you have an 89 year old man who will still live with five underlying health conditions, right? According to the CDC, according to the documents and the records. Okay. And then you'll have somebody who's supposed to be healthy die. This is not just not for COVID-19. This is why somebody have a car accident, flip over, break their neck. This is why certain people, things happen to them. Okay. Let's go to this word. Um, let's go to this word oblation. Because every time we see a word in there, we got to bring that word to light to see what it's talking about. It says the act of making a religious offering. Okay. And this is what this guy, Pastor Jamal Bryan, is talking about. You know, he, uh, the, open the trunk and drop the money, I mean, drop the food in people's cars and trunks. Look, if the system was under a righteous order, okay, and they're getting it from the scriptures, then you wouldn't need, he wouldn't need to be there doing that, okay? They're getting it from the scriptures, how you help the poor, you're supposed to leave food out, and they're supposed to come get it, but he's making money off of it. He's getting rich, and the, the worst part about it, he's not teaching the people the truth. You know, he's telling anybody, whoever joins his church, see, it's all about the money. Just follow, just follow the money, man. That's what it's all about. These, uh, these crooks, as the old school used to say, crooks. Okay, let me go to the point. The drive through testing site would have had 22 medical stations staffed by two medical professionals per station. The church planned a testing 1,000 people over the weekend but it wasn't free. <laughs> so why would you go to this church? Let me go on. The screening cost is $25 and the COVID-19 test is, is $125. Let's just say $150, man. You know, let's just say $150. Okay. There's a grand total of $150,000. See, this pastor is out for the take. Why would you simple sheeple pay $150 to go to the, the uh, Pastor Jamal's Bryant's church to get tested and don't say it's for so-called black people it's black oriented business this man is set up by the government okay so it ain't like it's it's for him he's using it and the government is uh he's using the government the government is using him to trick you and, and going broke man to feed his pockets because he does what people tell him to do okay now, how you don't know that those tests ain't tainted and ain't giving all you people, getting all you people sick, you know? This is, uh, this is insane, man. This is insane. Matthew 6 and 24, no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and he will love the other or else he would hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, which that mammon is riches. So obviously, Pastor Jamal Bryant 
decided not to serve the Most High because we told him he was an Israelite, okay? But he, this, he, he wants to serve those riches, okay? He wants to serve those riches, okay? And that's, that's to the point. Jeremiah 15 and 2, and it shall come to pass if they say unto me, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, such as for death to death, okay? So when that time come, all you going to come, well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You didn't follow the voice of the Lord. Read Proverbs, to the first chapter, okay? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith to the Lord, such as for the death to death, and such as for the sword to, to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine, and such as for the captivity to the captivity. And a lot of you are going to take that chip. That's going to be another captivity, man. A lot of you, we got to mention this. Probably in almost every video, if I can remember, to mention that RFID chip, man. We got to mention that. A lot of you are going to go back into captivity a servitude, slavery with that microchip, man, you know, and, and, you know, we prayed, you know, I pray, I don't, I pray I'm the elect, the hopefully elect and don't have to take that, man, you know, and this is the deception of the Christian church, the deception of the black people, black conscious community, because that's all it is. And none of them are fighting one another to get right in doctrine. Okay. And we'll say a great millstone, uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, other camps, they're teaching we're Israelites, they're on point, but great millstone, we're the only ones fighting tooth and nail for the doctrine. You know, I see Sakari, he spins off a great millstone, got to give him credit on that, he, he he's uh, doing this thing, fighting tooth and nail, teaching it the, mar the mark of the beast and all that as well, but, in, and that's still great millstone technically, I mean, as far as what we teach. You know, if you're into teaching the Great Millstone Doctrine, then that's what it is, okay? Um, so anyway, I just wanted to um, touch on that, you know. Um, now, as Sakari and them, they got to, you know, whatever they're teaching, they go off on some things. But for the most part, that RFID chip is on point, And a lot of these people ain't teaching that. That's all I have on that, Shalom.